My name is Katie McCall of Los Angeles, California, and um, I am a certified professional midwife who has been uh, who has been forced to surrender my medical license to practice midwifery in the state of California after a birth that I attended in 2007, back when I was a student midwife. Um, I was attending a birth, uh, was called to a birth, where the instructor midwife did not make it because there were two births happening at once. And I was left with the uncomfortable ethical decision to make of whether to abandon the mother or stay with her when she refused to transport to the hospital and said that she would instead uh, birth her baby at home regardless of whether the other midwife was coming. Um, I made the decision to um, stay at the birth because I felt that that was the most ethical thing for me to do, um, not thinking at all about uh, anybody outside of that room. Uh, I've been supporting families' choices in birth since 2001 and at that point had attended about 350 deliveries. Um, and I felt very strongly and still feel very strongly about uh, women's self-ownership and birth and their decisions to birth their babies where and with whom and how they choose. Um, so I stayed at that birth and um, in this particular case uh, the baby developed something called shoulder dystocia which is where the head delivers but the shoulders get stuck. And I was able to perform a simple maneuver that I had learned in school to free the baby from this um, life uh, endangering situation. In a shoulder dystocia, uh, a baby can develop brain damage or death within a matter of minutes. Um, and the baby was delivered successfully. The mother and the baby uh, fully recovered. Uh, and I walked away from that birth um, feeling that I had uh, done something that I didn't want to do but was glad that I had because I knew that there was a child who was alive because of my presence. I was not notified uh, immediately, but a year and a half later was notified by the California Medical Board uh, that they had undergone an investigation um, into my actions that day. Uh, apparently a, a, a woman who was there as an observer at the birth, not the family themselves, um, contacted them and filed a complaint that I had practiced medicine without a license um, and that she believed that I had the business of doing so regularly, which was absolutely not the truth. Um, but the medical board had already spent a year and a half in investigations and all in all ended up spending $45,000 of taxpayer money to try to find a business that they thought that I was running without proper regulation. And uh, I went on to get my uh, certified professional midwife certificate and then was further given my uh, license by the state of California by the same medical board who had been investigating me. I was told that there, the investigation wasn't going anywhere and that they would give me my license as a result. Um, and then six months after I got my license, I was arrested in handcuffs and taken away to jail. Um, because of uh, this outstanding investigation that had uh, apparently been handed over to the district attorney's office, uh, which really blindsided me. I had no idea that there was any kind of investigation still going on. And I had never been in handcuffs, never been in the back of a police car, never seen the inside of a jail. Um, for my family, I was the only member of my family as far back as we can remember who has ever seen the inside of a jail uh, or ever been in, on the opposite side of, the, of law enforcement. Um, and uh, to make the long story short, uh, after a year of criminal prosecution where I was allowed to continue to practice as a midwife during uh, trial proceedings, um, I refused to take any plea deal and uh, was allowed to have a jury trial. Um, and in the jury trial, the prosecutor expanded the charge to include basically any action that I might have done, uh, which brought in a lot of question because there's a lot of muddy water in the state of California about what constitutes the practice of medicine. And it was concluded basically in the courtroom that taking a blood pressure, taking someone's temperature, uh, feeling a woman's um, belly from the outside of her body to guess what position the baby might in, be in, that these are all practices of medicine and I was sentenced uh, in the end, I was found guilty by the jury and then sentenced into the, uh, in the end um, with a felony charge of practicing medicine without a license for the actions that I did the night that I saved the baby. Um, yeah. <laughs>